Virtualization is one of the largest and most interesting and most important parts of green IT. And when you talk about virtualization, it's important to understand that there's server virtualization and desktop virtualization. The majority of the market is focusing on server virtualization. The idea here is to reduce the number of servers by virtualizing machines and essentially saving energy and increasing utilization. In some cases, you can save 70 to 90 percent of energy savings. Uh, utilization increases, um, in theory, 90 percent. In practice, it's probably more around 60 percent. You can also do some interesting things with redundancy. Uh, today, a lot of data centers have one plus one redundancy, which is very reliable. Virtualization allows you to move to an n colon one redundancy scheme where you've got one server essentially backing up n number of servers. Um, you have some interesting rules-based methods for turning off idle servers when they're not needed at specific times. The goal here with virtualization is not incremental improvement, it's major efficiency gains. And this is why virtualization is such a big priority when it comes to green IT. Let's just touch briefly on desktop virtualization. When you're looking at a large enterprise, think of thousands of employees all running desktops. The idea is to save energy of those desktops throughout the enterprise. And what, what desktop virtualization does is it runs the desktops in the data center and pushes the image out to the desktop itself, essentially creating a thin client model. So to date in the industry, server virtualization is really the priority, um, while desktop virtualization is really still under investigation. A good way to put virtualization into perspective is by looking at it through a customer deployment model. So I spoke with a very large enterprise recently, Fortune 500 company, $8 billion in annual revenue, 40,000 employees worldwide. They have two primary data centers housing a total of 4,000 servers. To date, they've virtualized 1,500 servers, which represents roughly 40% of their server infrastructure. The benefit that they saw is a utilization increase from somewhere between 5 and 10% to 60%. So very clear benefit there. Their goal is to virtualize 80% of their infrastructure over the next couple years. And some side benefits of this are a 60% reduction in networking gear. So, you know, it's not just this, the sheer benefit of the virtualization itself, it's the side benefits of other surrounding technologies in the data center. This particular enterprise in um, 2007, they have many different business units and their model was to opt into virtualization. Now in 2008, they're actually comfortable with virtualization such that the business units have to opt out. I think this is a very interesting trend and probably one that you'll see across the industry. Uh, another very interesting thing that they're doing is they're working with Southern California Edison on a rebate incentive program. Um, the benefit to them here is a low six-figure rebate check in addition to a lower utility bill.